everybody and welcome to Jarradale in the Perth Hills and uh, we've been up here exploring around a little bit and uh, um, inspired by um, Simon Baxter and uh, a few others I might admit I've been looking for a little tree on its own doing its own thing in amongst a whole group of others and I think I've found one this little guy here is the one I've been focusing on and trying to capture. I've um, spent some time up here trying to catch the sunlight on it the right way and uh, could never do it. Wake up this morning and Joanne says, there's mist out there. It's weird rain overnight. But it's a smoke that's come in from the bushfire. That's, uh, they've been doing some controlled burns. So that's provided me with the mist. Anyway, I've taken uh, a couple of shots and uh, I'll show you what I've got and what I've, what I've just done. Time to reveal the new acquisition. Same camera but a different lens. This is Canon's 70 to 200, which gives me a much better reach and some very nice photos. So you can see my position here and uh, obviously you see it's my little sapling over there. It's going to be strangled by that uh, creeper. Anyway, let's focus this, focus this up so it's, uh, it's looking good. About there, I think. So we have f4, 30th of a second. Let's see, make that 45th of a second. Focused on the little sapling. There's the shot. And the verdict from the kookaburras is Yeah, they think it's a funny shot too. Well, morning number two in Jarradale and foggy and smoky again today and a little bit cool as you can tell by the headwear. So uh, I've come back down to where I was trying to get that little tree in the clearing and I've realized that it's not gonna work, it's not what I want. However, on my way down here, I spied the scene that I'm looking at and that I'm gonna show you right now. So there's the scene I've just uh, seen and maybe the little tree was trying to tell me something that it wasn't gonna be the focus, but this was. Anyway, um, I have composed, so I've got the 70 to 200 on, which gives me a shot like that. Um, and uh, I could probably crop in a little bit closer, but maybe, but what I'd do, well I could, but I like these, these branches on this side and on this side, sort of framing the shot a little bit. Uh, most people would do an edge patrol on their uh, photo and cut them out, but I'm actually going to leave them in, I think. But I'll do both and see how we go. I could, I could frame it like that, but then that tree gets in the way. So I'm going to go back to where I was, about there, and 
lock the tripod up so it doesn't move. I'll focus there. I'm on F4. So we'll focus there. Yep, looking good. I'm actually going to wait to see if the sun comes through there a little bit too. Alright. Who would have thought that little scene there has been, was there yesterday and I missed it. It always pays by the sound of it to um, come back and have a second look. Look what's just happened. The sun has come through just the way I wanted it. So here's the composition. I've gone back to this composition again. And uh, a little, that's about what I want. So F4 on the big lens. Now the dilemma is do I add a little bit of light or do I not? Overexpose a little bit or not? Let's see what the histogram shows. See, the histogram says we can go that far. So we'll do both. It's only half a stop, oh, yeah, half a stop over. And then we'll do. That one it depends. Well, that's a bit of a moody shot, so I like that. Just perfect. Happy as. You can see there's a bit of blue sky up there. I'll show you where I am. There's the fence line on the road up to where we're camped. That's just a bit of bush. Beautiful colours in this. A bit of a green. Alright, so as I said before, these are the old uh, timber cutters cottages. I think they're the single men's quarters, or what was the single men's quarters, so... And they're just sitting here, rotting away. Signs on them saying they got asbestos in them, so... It's a good thing to stay away from them. Anyway, I think uh, the camera's just shut down, so obviously it's time to go home for breakfast. So, um, once again, give us a thumbs up, and uh, thanks very much for watching. And of course, hit the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video. So until the next one, see you later.